So this is a lady who had a stud horse that she was having some trouble doing groundwork with. She said that he would rear up and get uh, really uh, reactive to everything she was trying to get him to do. So we're just going to get him in the round pen and I'm going to be as smooth and gentle as I possibly can with him and make sure that it wasn't something done in his past that was causing him to think that he had to respond that way when uh, having the groundwork done to him. So the reason that this horse has got the rearing up and the overreactiveness going on is a lot of it being how he was handled. A lot of people have a tendency when they try to do groundwork or any kind of round pin training with a horse, they kind of want to go in there and high eye the horse and get him responding really quickly and uh, really lightly. And all of that's good, but it can create a problem like you're seeing here if you're trying to get the horse to do something better and faster when he really does not even know in the first place what it is that you're wanting him to do. So the main things I'm trying to do right here is be as slow and smooth and fluid as possible. I don't want to do anything to make him think that he has to rush this. So when you kind of watch, you'll see that anytime he's doing something undesirable such as rearing up, I'm trying really hard to get in his way and make it uncomfortable for him. You'll see that I'm waving the flag pretty close to his face and neck area and shaking the lead. Anything I can do to make it be uncomfortable to be rearing up. And then the second that he stops doing that, I'm trying really hard to completely take away any pressure that I was putting on him. And that's just another really good example of how you make the wrong thing difficult and the right thing easy. So he started to calm down. He started to figure out he didn't have to respond the way that he had been responding. I was telling the owner, you know, all you would have to do to get this improved and have it fixed for good is just to basically keep doing the same thing. Try to have a really slow and smooth approach when you're asking him to do these things and just give him time to figure out what he's expected to do so he doesn't feel rushed like he's going to have to overreact to be okay. And also talk to her about changing up his feeding regimen a little bit, uh, maybe a little more hay, less grain, and of course, as with every horse, as much turnout time as possible. So he's not taking in all of this energy on a daily basis, but having no way to burn it off.